volume of cylinders. So to find the volume of a cylinder, it's going to be very similar to finding the volume of a prism. Let's have a look. So here we've got our cylinder, which you can see is made up of two circular faces joined by this curve edge here. And it's kind of like a prism because to find the volume, it's just going to be the area of one of the circular faces times the distance between the circular faces. And we know the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared times the distance between the two circular faces, but in a cylinder, we often call that h. So our volume is pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. So let's give some values to this cylinder. So if we know the radius is four meters, and we know the height is 10 meters, we should be able to find the volume. So that's just going to be pi times the radius squared, well the radius is 4, times the height, which is 10. And this is going to give us pi times 16 times 10, which is pi times 160. Putting that in the calculator, it's going to give us 502.7 meters cubed, to one decimal place. Let's have a look at another example. Let's look at this cylinder standing upright this time. Let's say we know its diameter is 10 millimeters and its height is 12 millimeters. We know the volume of a cylinder now is pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. And the radius of this cylinder is half its diameter, which is going to be 5 millimeters. So the volume is pi times the radius squared, so pi times 5 squared times its height, which is 12. So we're going to get pi times 25 times 12, and that in the calculator is going to give us 942.5 millimeters cubed to one decimal place. One more example. Let's look at the shape here. So what we have here is a half cylinder. So to find the volume of this half cylinder, it's going to be pi times the radius squared times the height, just like a normal cylinder, but we're going to times it all by a half, because we've only got half of it. We know the diameter of the circle section is 12, so the radius must be half of that, which is going to be 6 centimeters. So we can work out the volume by doing pi times the radius squared, which is 6 squared, times the height of the cylinder, which is 15, times a half. And all that in the calculator is going to give us 848.2 centimeters cubed to 1 decimal place.